Today I'm at the Canadian Museum of Immigration at Pier 21 in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Pier 21 is a very significant place in Canada because this is where a lot of European immigrants came to Canada and touched Canadian soil for the very first time, including my grandparents. I'm a second generation Canadian. My grandparents came from Ukraine and Poland, so my visit today is very special. Not only am I going to get the chance to see what the process was like coming through Pier 21, but I'm also hoping to find a little bit more information about my grandparents and what boats that they came on. Between 1928 and 1971, close to one million people came through Pier 21. It played a crucial role during World War II and the post-war years for both immigrants and the Canadian military. One in five Canadians began their new life in Canada at Pier 21. And today you can visit the Canadian National Immigration Museum of Pier 21 to learn about their immigration story. My visit begins at the Scotiabank Family History Centre, where I'm hoping to find information about my grandparents who came through Pier 21. I meet up with Kara, the manager of the Family History Centre, and quickly learn that unfortunately I won't be able to get detailed information about my grandparents. Immigration records are held private for 75 years, and so my grandparents' information hasn't yet been released. Family members can request these documents, which can take a number of months to get. But Kara has some great news. She's able to search through the departure records from England and has found information about one of my grandparents. So we have Stefan and he's 33. He'd been living in London before he came to Canada and originally from Poland. Poland. Mm -hmm. So we see that he was on the ship the Aquitania, which sailed on August 17th of 1948 from Southampton, England and bound here to Pier 21. And it would have gotten into port it's about an eight-day crossing, so August 25th of 48. Wow. Tristan, on the other hand, has much better luck and is able to get information about all of his grandparents. And while they didn't pass through Pier 21, Kara is able to find their documents. There he is. John oh, that, that's it? So, on the UK departure, he's just listed as J, which was very common around the turn of the century on those documents. But on the Canadian arrival record, we do see that he's listed as John. So he arrived uh, via the port of uh, St. John, New Brunswick in 1906. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. And it says that they're from Ireland and they're going into Toronto and James was a manager that planned on doing farm work in Toronto. <coughs> um. <laughs> After spending close to an hour with us, Kara prints off copies of all the documents for us to take home. So now that Tristan and I have a little bit more information about our ancestors, we're now going to check out what the experience of coming through Pier 21 would have been like. So this is literally where the immigrants would have taken their very first steps into Canada. Gangplanks from the boats would have come right here into the space and they would have disembarked from the boats before proceeding on. So this, this is the very first steps on Canadian soil. These are images of just some of the ships that came into Pier 21 from various cities in Europe. And based on what I discovered in the History Center downstairs, my one of my grandfathers came in on the Aquitania, which is this one right here. And what I also learned downstairs was that this is the third largest troop ship that came into Pier 21. So when it wasn't bringing in immigrants, uh, Canadian soldiers during World War II would have been departing from Pier 21 and probably using one of these ships. After the passengers would have come off the ship, they would come to the assembly hall where they would wait to talk to all the customs officers. Now the majority of all paperwork was done before they even got on board, so this process apparently could take as quickly as two or three minutes, but upwards of 600 people would sit in the space, uh, a little bit larger than this, waiting for their turn with the customs officer.
Pier 21 saw the largest amount of people come through here between 1945 and 1971. It was estimated around 750,000 people came through this pier during that time and three distinct groups of people made up those individuals. First there were the war brides or women who were married to Canadian soldiers who are now coming to Canada. There is also the displaced persons and political refugees, those individuals who were leaving areas of political unrest, especially after World War II. And then there are also European immigrants who were coming to Canada looking for better opportunities and a better life. Once the immigration process was complete, newly landed immigrants had to make their way to their final destination. The Canadian Railway offered special colonist cars. They were very simple and passengers had to supply their own food and bedding. This was the final journey towards their new life in Canada. Well, I may not have gotten information on all of my grandparents, but I'm leaving with a much better understanding of what their first steps into Canada were like. The researchers at the Family History Centre can help you find out more information about your family's immigration history from any entry point across Canada. So keep that in mind when planning your visit here. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet already. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you soon.